Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make a pear and almond tart but this is going to be a tart that doesn't have any pastry it's simply an almond uh, base with pears on top uh, which are then baked and you can bake it in a pastry ring and I have here a, a pastry ring which I have lined with some parchment paper um, or you can bake it uh, in a spring form pan but you could if you wanted to just take the base off the pan and bake it in there lining that with parchment paper you could bake it with the the base in but you would have to line the base with parchment paper as well so that you can take it out later and my pastry ring is 23 centimeters in diameter nine inches so I've started this process off by preheating my oven to 190 Celsius, that's 170 Celsius with a fan, 370 Fahrenheit. And I have a, a pizza stone heating up in my oven. If you don't have a pizza stone, you could heat up a baking tray uh, and then you can just put this onto the baking tray when you've uh, mix everything together. So I'll go on to the ingredients and for the almond part, the, the cake type base of the tart, I have 165 grams which is 12 tablespoons of softened unsalted butter. I have 165 grams which is one and a half cups plus two tablespoons of ground almonds and then I have 165 grams which is uh, three quarters of a cup plus one tablespoon of caster sugar. I have two medium eggs which would be large in the USA which I have beaten uh, together. Then I have uh, 10 grams, two and a half teaspoons of corn flour. That's going to help uh, thicken the batter and uh, help everything uh, stick together. I have uh, two teaspoons, 10 millilitres of vanilla extract, one teaspoon, five millilitres of almond extract. You could use those either individually or both together. Um, it's option, it's up to you. And I have about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I also have uh, pear halves. Now these are out of a tin and the reason for using them out of a tin is that they're already soft and cooked. If you try to cook this tart with fresh pears the pears will end up uh, uncooked by the time the tart is uh, baked and uh, that's roughly the shape I'm going for. So I have there um, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight halves but you could quarter them and you could slice them if you wanted to and how many you put on is up to you. So I'll put those to the side for the time being and we'll go on and we'll make the batter. And to make the batter we start off by creaming uh, the eggs with the, sorry, creaming the uh, butter with the sugar and I'm, I'm going to do this with my hand mixer but if the butter's soft enough you can actually do it all just with a a whisk if you wanted to or a wooden spoon so that's mixed quite nicely together so I'm going to add into that my egg and my uh, two extracts, vanilla and almond. I'll just mix those until they're combined. Uh, 
that's good enough. And I'll just scrape down the bowl. And so then what I'm going to do is put my corn flour and the salt into the almonds and I'm going to stir those around and then I'm simply going to whisk that into the um, wet mixture until it's all combined. I don't have to worry about gluten development here so I can whisk it quite well if I want to. And that's mixed together quite well so I'm going to set that to one side and get my uh, pastry ring ready. So I have my pastry ring standing on some parchment paper which is also on um, my little paddle that helps me put it into the oven. As I say you could do this, you could stand this parchment paper on, on a baking tray ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to put my batter into the pastry ring. And I have uh, lined the ring, but with the paper coming slightly over the, the top. So then I need to spread that out evenly so I think that's good enough it's rough but I think that's good enough and then we need to put the pears on And what I'm going to do is take each pair and place it on leaving a gap at the edge and just press it down a little bit and put another one next to it again leaving a gap and I have dried these pairs off with a bit of paper towel as well uh, just to um, make sure that there's not too much liquid going into the almond base like that and then I'm going to put a smaller half in the middle just like that and what I also have um, is some flaked almonds. Now these are toasted flaked almonds um, but if you have ordinary flaked almonds you can use those or you can toast some ordinary almond, flaked almonds and then just sprinkle some uh, onto the surface of the almond batter like that. You don't need very many. And then I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for between 30 and 40 minutes and the almond uh, tart base should rise up encircling uh, the pears quite nicely. It should brown around the edges as well. And then I'll take it out of the oven and I'll allow it to cool down completely and when it's cooled down completely, I'll come back and show you the results. 
I baked the pear and almond tart for 40 minutes and I don't think it was quite done in the middle so I left it in for a further five minutes and then it was firmer uh, in the middle and I think uh, the length of time you bake for depends on uh, a couple of factors one is how much juice may be released from those tinned pears that's why I patted mine dry before I started uh, to minimize that if I could and the other is uh, that you really must make sure your oven is at full temperature um, that's uh, 190 Celsius, 170 Celsius with a fan, uh, 370 Fahrenheit. And if you're using the baking stone, like I did, you have to heat that for at least 45 minutes at that temperature to get it to the right uh, temperature. And slightly less time, but still uh, longer than heating the oven if you're going to put it onto a hot baking tray. So anyway, um, mine's baked and it worked. It looks quite good. So this is what it looks like. Um, and I've let this cool completely. And uh, I think maybe if I'd have put it in the fridge for a, an hour or so, it would have cooled that little bit quicker. But I've, it's cooled completely and it's nice and firm. So I've taken a slice out and I've already been eating it. And I'll have a taste of the rest of my slice. That is very, very good indeed. The, the outer edge of the tart has a slight caramel flavour to it. Then you get the, the flavour from the almond extract and the soft juiciness of that lovely pear as well. This is going to be ideal served with some ice cream or some cream or even some custard. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for this recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.